Your welcome once again to Nigeria High Standard Universities with Development Platform. Nigeria High Standard Universities are specially selected universities that have carved a niche for themselves through quality standard and modern infrastructural development. To participate in this special report, the university must be recognized, accredited, and licensed by the National Universities Commission of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Today, we shall be bringing to you Chuku Emeka Odumego Juku Universities in Anambra State, formerly known as Anambra State Universities. I am Sonny Kim Sachi David. We'll be back after this time out. Please don't go away. Nigeria High Standard Universities. Yes, Nigeria High Standard Universities. Nigeria High Standard Universities is a flagship TV program that is specially designed to promote and unveil the modern technology potentials and facilities of some specially selected Nigerian universities with high standard infrastructure and conducive learning environment. Is your school technology driven? Does your school have the required infrastructure and conducive environment that can compete with other world-class universities? Would you like to show the world the level of technological development in your institution to attract international recognition? You are just one click away from the Hall of Fame. Join the list of the Nigeria High Standard Universities with Development Platform on this station. For inquiry and participation, please call 0813-482-8526, 0818-708-2257, 0806-283-0069. Nigeria High Standard Universities, your window to quality education and desired institution. Anambur State University of Science and Technology, as it was then called, was established on 1st January 2000. The university started in a two-campus structure with the main campus of the university located at Uli in the former site of the Ekwenugo Okeke Polytechnic, which was formerly known as Anambra State Polytechnic, and the second campus located at Ibariam in the former site of the College of Agriculture. The law establishing the university phased out the state polytechnic and the university inherited its assets and liabilities. On the other hand, the university law failed to repel the edict establishing the College of Agriculture, Ibarium, hence legally. The university and the college existed side by side at the Ibarium campus site until 2006 when the government relocated the College of Agriculture to Mbaku, about 15 kilometers away from Ibariam. Chukwemeka Odumebu Ojuku University was established to be an international acclaimed center of excellence for scientific innovations, technological breakthrough, and sustainable human development that will meet local, national, and global sociocultural and economic challenges. It is the philosophy of the university to pursue academic excellence in all aspects of human endeavor relating to cultural, social, and economic developmental needs of the nation. The university places high premium on arts, science, and technology and their application to enhance the overall well-being of the society. Currently, the university is operating on three campuses with different faculties, namely Faculty of Engineering, Faculty of Environmental Sciences, Faculty of Science, Pre-Science Program, Faculty of Agriculture, Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, Faculty of Law, Faculty of Management Sciences, College of Health Sciences, University Teaching Hospital. However, in 2010, the College of Medicine and Teaching Hospital being constructed at Amako General Hospital, Oka, received legal backing as the State House of Assembly passed an amendment act to situate a third campus of the university, a three-campus structure. It is noteworthy that this university is one of the institutions the Nigerian Security and Exchange Commission is assisting to develop a program in capital market studies 
which is being housed in the Faculty of Management Sciences at the Ibarium campus. With respect to the clinical programs of the Faculty of Medicine and Surgery based at Orca, using the structures and facilities of the former Amako General Hospital, the government of Anambra State just constructed a multi-million naira physical structures to accommodate the clinical programs of the medical school as well as its teaching hospital professional bodies accreditation. Others include accreditation with Council for Regulation of Engineering in Nigeria C-O-R-E-N on the interim basis, Council of Legal Education on the interim basis, Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria ICAN, Council for the Regulation of Practice of Geology, Nigerian Institute of Architects NIA. Professor F. U. Okafo is the serving Vice Chancellor of the University, an academia with numerous achievements, an educationist who has contributed in no small measures to the growth and development of education in Anambra State and Nigeria in general, a professor of philosophy who was in recognition of his excellent leadership and awarded the best vice chancellor of the southeast region let's meet with the vice chancellor this university was formerly called uh, anambra state university of science and technology um, Later, it became a conventional university and named Anambra State University. And uh, by 2014, it was renamed Chuku Emeka Odimego Juku University after an Igbo hero. Chuku Emeka Odimego Juku, who led the Biafrans during the war. Um, so we now answer Chuku Emeka Odimego Juku University. When it became now a conventional university, uh, all these other very important uh, departments that make up a university are now included. And so, both science, arts, management, um, social sciences, law, education, all of them are now in our university. So we are lucky that this university has uh, such expanse of land for development. The Iberian campus specifically um, has a lot of land spanning several kilometers and very fertile too so we, we, we have enough space for expansion and development and um, yes you have gone around and you have seen for yourselves the extent of development the infrastructure the projects that are ongoing, the building, and so on and so forth. Um, we would attribute the development uh, to two areas, uh, two agencies, so to say. The state government has contributed its own water very effectively, and also the tertiary Education Trust Fund has also complemented. Um, many people who have come this way are delighted by the environment, the location, the serenity of this academic environment. And that's what it should be. And every tower, a citadel of, le of learning, should be removed from the hurry and flurry 
of uh, normal social economic life so that students and staff will engage themselves in the primary reason for setting up a university which is teaching and learning and research and that is the advantage we have as you can see um, and we are grateful to the landlords of our university the Uli people the Ibarian people and the Oka people we are very grateful to them because they made the land available for the expansion and the growth when I became registrar came to this office in January 2013 one of the things we did was to democratize so many uh, aspects of our service delivery we democratize our services um, we made transcripts accessible and available to students uh, so that students graduates and graduates could easily apply for transcripts and under two weeks have it sent to their universities even abroad uh, we made sure that uh, what was formally called exams and records was demolished and uh, we had the approval of management and senate to have a separate examinations unit and carved out a new unit called records and statistics so where examinations uh, was dealing with certificates statement of results and current students records and statistics was de dealing with graduates or past students uh, attestations, confirmation of results, and transcripts. And that has helped uh, members of the alumni. And not only that, we made sure that uh, the bulk of certificates that were not signed by previous administrations were signed by the Vice Chancellor and myself. And students now receive their certificates on convocation day. That is one of the things that we did and uh, it endeared us to the hearts of not just our students but our, our clientele in the society. Like you can see, uh, we have beautiful security in the campus. We don't have security problems. The security, you can see, is everybody's business. The Nigeria police, even the army, the SSS, all work together with us. The Vice Chancellor and the, the admin have really done very good thing in the security and ensuring that people are secured. And um, I think um, to some extent we should give the school management kudos on the issue and the area of security. We are collaborating um, both locally and internationally. Um, not more than three months ago Three universities in Africa came to this university on a collaborative effort on how to address the problems of Africa. So we, we had the University of Eldoret in Kenya and the University of Uganda, all of which came to this university for a conference which was sponsored by the three universities. It was a very good opportunity for Africans from different universities to look at our common problem collectively and took decisions which if governments were to utilize may be a breakthrough to some of the problems that are comforting Africa. And uh, this collaboration is expanding from three universities, three universities, many other universities are now queuing up. And by the time our next meeting will take place, we expect that as many as 10 universities across Africa 
will be part of this collaborative effort. My office, like I told you, is a, is a student affairs. Okay, we relate with students. The students come to us if they have any problem, we solve it. That is if it's something we can solve. If it's not something we can solve, we refer the person to maybe registrar or to visit, depending on the case. We relate very well with our students. They feel very free with us. They come to us anytime, any time they have problem, they come to us even in, at night. If there's a problem, they call and uh, we, we, we try and uh, address this, the, 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 the problem. Um, having the kind of a person that's our vice chancellor, who is student friendly, somebody who you can actually meet at any time and he would give you listening ears. The student's welfare is in good shape. It's really nice. This is where our world right now is. It is a world of ICT. This university placed high level importance and priority on ICT. And that's why we built one of the, if you go around, you see our ICT facilities. And uh, everywhere is, we are smelling ICT. And we have made our students to recognize that for them to succeed in the competitive world, they must be ICT compliant. They must have the knowledge and not just having the knowledge, but the practical knowledge. Um, we also have uh, done quite a lot to make sure that many of our activities here are ICT based. Our exams now are ICT based, ICT based. Uh, so, and um, online registration everything we are now moving into that direction this was where we started before we established the other um, unit we have 50 um, all-in-one computers here and we also do training and student services here uh, most of the times when students have issues with online registration uh, it is here they come to uh, to solve those issues to um, get attention from um, staff to solve those problems and then when we want to also train um, um, staff particularly in the surrounding um, departments and all that we bring them here uh, as you can see we also have one of our electronic bots installed here um, to uh, encourage and you know enhance that training so we do training for staff we solve students problems and so they can come online here and get registered um, because we do online registration of courses and such other things that we do. So we call this place Shell Center. This is the circulation section of the library, the university library uh, in this uh, campus. Uh, the whole of these shelves contain the books in this uh, particular section, which is the circulation section. At the rear there, we have the reference section which uh, houses all the reference materials in the library. Um, opposite here, we have the serial section of the library where we have the journals and uh, some other um, reference materials like um, newspapers and uh, magazines. Uh, these are some of the sections we have here. Uh, you've gone up to see the e-library of the university library. I think uh, Nigeria as a nation is also uh, laying emphasis on agriculture. Uh, many a time we hear about the pyramids of Grand North and so on and so forth, so forth in the good old days which sustained our economy. And so every university that has facility should uh, also be committed to agriculture as we are. And the uh, advantage we have is that this particular campus, Ibarium, is located in the very area where the old agricultural farm settlement of the 60s 
was established when Nigeria was running a regional system and so we have vast expanse of land for development in agriculture our faculty of agriculture is growing if you had had the opportunity to go through go to the uh, faculty of agriculture you will find that it is expanding we are building more structure to be well equipped with modern agricultural equipment so that it will be a center for research i, I believe that some people have spoken about this vice chancellor through the awards they have given for instance the National Association of Nigerian Students nationwide had conferred on this Vice Chancellor Life Member of NANS. The first person to benefit from this award is Wolo Shoyinka of all the Vice Chancellors. As that were not enough, sometime this year, early this year, the Commonwealth Student Parliament based in Uganda nominated me as the Vice Chancellor of the Year and they came right to the, right to right into this university to confer the honor. Our Vice Chancellor is an amiable professor of international repute, very sociable, very accessible by staff and students very humble a quintessential administrator wow <laughs> if i if i start treating my vice chancellor i don't know uh one I, I rate him as an angel <laughs> if I, let me start from there he's a he's such a wonderful personality he's uh, somebody that uh, has interest of staff and students at heart so much so he's uh, he's a father to the core he's a listener he will want to, in fact, deprive himself of his, even his personal needs to ensure that the university moves forward. I'm the best vice chancellor in the whole world. And let me bring you to your notice that some months back he was made the Commonwealth Vice Chancellor of the Year. Anybody that, uh, that you ask the question who the vice chancellor is, the first thing he will tell you is humility. He's too humble, very, very humble. Yes, Chukwemeka Odume Gojuku University is the best place any student can be. If you want to be a person who is going to be stress-free and looking for employment, you don't even have to look for employment because we have all it takes to make the world come to you. For further inquiries, please take note of the contact on the screen. Nigeria High Standard Universities. Yes, Nigeria High Standard Universities. Nigeria High Standard Universities is a flagship TV program that is specially designed to promote and unveil the modern technology potentials and facilities of some specially selected Nigerian universities with high standard infrastructure and conducive learning environment. Is your school technology driven? Does your school have the required infrastructure and conducive environment that can compete with other world-class universities? Would you like to show the world the level of technological development in your institution to attract international recognition? You are just one click away from the Hall of Fame. Join the list of the Nigeria high standard universities with development platform on this station for inquiry and participation please call 0813-482-8526-0818-708-2257-0806-283-0069 nigeria high standard universities your window to quality education and desired institution what a wonderful university indeed nigeria is coming of age and of course who says Nigerian universities are not of standard? Well, I leave that for you to answer. Until we come your way again, same time, same station, I remain your host, Sonny Inkepsnachi Davids. Bye for now. <laughs>